Hello, right, this video tour, I'm just going to show you how to install Joomla Social. So the first thing you need is to have your default Joomla website set up. There's a video previously that show you how to do that. So once you've done that, underneath this um, video there'll be a link. So if you just click on the link here to open up, or you can just click on the link to say Joomla Social. Okay, and... Here you are, Joomla Social's website. So next thing we've got to do, you need to buy Joomla Social before you can download it. So just show you here's a, just click on price here and you've got these three options. For this video, I'm just using the standard version. So next thing we need to do is once, is just click on the account button. And now we just click on standard system button up here. Uh, just wait for it to download. I'm just going to click on open window. Okay, now we can see our free. Uh, let's close that. Now we can see um, our files. So we just go make a new folder on the desktop. Let's go click on new folder and there's that. Okay, so let's rename this folder. Just call it Junior Social. Junior Social. Okay, let's click on here. Double click on there. Now I'm just going to drag all these three files into. Yeah, like so. So I'm just going to drag those. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is upload it. So we just go to, we don't need that window anymore. And I'm just going to go to Administrator. Okay, and then demo, just click in there. Okay, right, now we're in our Joomla admin. I'll just go click on Stenson, Stenson Manager. I'll go click on Choose Files. And just go on Desktop. And I'll go go on, where is it? Joomla Social says that. And just go upload the component, like so. Just click on Open and click on Upload. And you can see like it's uploading here, so you see where it says 47, 49. So just wait for this to load. Okay, that's done. Just click on complete your installation. Okay, now we just click on the next. Uh, we see it uploading now. It's quite easy to spell, let's see. So we just click on next again. And again. And it's done. So we just click on the done button there. Okay, now we see everything's done. Now we just go to components. We can see Gmail sizes here. We'll see it here too. So the next thing we want to do is just download the modules we're going to use. Uh, I'm just going to go to my desktop and check something beforehand. Okay, so the modules on it first. What I'm going to do is just going to make a new folder. Of course, modules. Make it 
Sorry. Drag that in there, like so. Click on there to select the file. And where does it say extract here? Yeah. Okay, now here's all our modules. So now what we've got to do next is just click on choose file and we're going to set the module folder. And we're going to have to upload all these. So I'm just going to show you how to do the first few. I'm sure you know how to do it. Okay, so yep, that one's done. That's his stream. Upload that one too. I'm not going to use that one, I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to pause the video and so I'm not going to show, upload, show you how to load up <laughs> I don't do one of these ones. I'm sure you know how to do this now. And I'll speak to you in a bit. Okay, so now we've installed uh, all our modules. The next thing to do is to install a template. So we go to Extension Manager and we click on Choose Files. And just go again on Desktop. And if you purchase, you should have um, this. So, okay, so we have the templates files in here. You just go click on the Grantee Juno framework. You just click on open and we we'll click on upload. Okay, now we set in there, upload it. So now we just upload the thing, we just click on choose file button. So it's ready for me, just click on open and click on upload again. Okay, now we go to extension uh, template manager. And here we see our theme, Juno Slice theme. Just go click on the star here to make it our default theme. Click on the view side. And here you go, here's a the theme. I'm just going to get rid of that home thing there. So just going to go to menu, main menu. And go click on the home button. And click on where is it? Page display option, show heading and title, just click on that. Click on the save button. And just refresh. And there you go, that's gone. In the next video I'm gonna be showing you how to actually set up the modules, the slideshows, and how to configure everything. So thank you for watching. And hope to see you in the next video.